Have you ever imagined what would happen if our entire digital infrastructure collapsed? What if one day, as you're trying to board a plane for a family vacation or checking your bank balance, everything goes wrong at once? In today's video, we're going to explore a chilling scenario. Why the next cyber attack could be as deadly as a nuclear weapon. But how likely is this and what can be done to stop it? The Chaos of Holiday Travel Disruptions As Christmas approaches, airports across the country are typically packed with travelers eager to reunite with their families. This is supposed to be a time of joy and anticipation, but imagine for a second that everything suddenly goes wrong. You're at the airport, ready to check in, and the airline tells you that your ticket doesn't exist. You've got your confirmation number, your email receipt, everything checks out. But for some reason, you're not on the list. Now, multiply this by thousands of people. From ticket counters to TSA checkpoints, chaos breaks out as travelers are either not found in the system or even worse, flagged as threats. Families are detained, innocent people are handcuffed, and no one knows what's going on. As more and more people are denied flights, confusion spreads like wildfire across the entire airport. It's the kind of nightmare that could spoil anyone's holiday, but in this hypothetical scenario, it's just the beginning of something much, much bigger. The panic inside airports grows when it becomes clear that this isn't just a glitch in the system. It's a full-scale cyber attack targeting U.S. airlines and air traffic control systems. This unprecedented breach leaves thousands of travelers stranded, throwing one of the busiest travel seasons into disarray. Now, here's the kicker. The cyber attack doesn't stop with airport check-in systems. It quickly spreads into other sectors, causing an even more dangerous ripple effect. As airlines scramble to ground flights, protect passenger information, and restore security, another wave of attacks is about to hit critical infrastructure in the U.S. So what happens when these attacks target something more life-threatening than delayed flights? Let's move on to the next phase of this cyber nightmare. Power outages and the energy crisis In Minnesota, a gas-fired power plant falls victim to a cyber attack, where malicious code increases gas flow to turbines, causing a catastrophic explosion and knocking out power. Thousands of homes lose electricity and heating amid a harsh winter. This isn't an isolated event. Similar attacks occur nationwide, strategically timed for winter, when homes rely on gas for heat. Within hours, nearly half of the country's gas plants are offline, causing widespread outages and a heating crisis. Millions are left freezing, and hospitals face power shortages as emergency fuel supplies run low, while the attackers prepare for the next move. Catastrophic oil spills in the Gulf of Mexico As if widespread power outages and air travel chaos weren't enough, the cyber attackers set their sights on another critical part of the U.S. infrastructure, the oil industry. Suddenly, hundreds of these offshore platforms suffer simultaneous system failures. The malicious code introduced by the attackers disables pressure sensors and overrides safety protocols. As a result, the wells keep pumping oil unchecked and catastrophic bursts in the pipes lead to massive oil spills. What follows is an environmental disaster of unprecedented scale. For context, the Deepwater Horizon oil spill released around 4.9 million barrels of oil into the Gulf back in 2010. It was considered the worst maritime environmental disaster in history at the time. But now, in this cyber-induced catastrophe, the volume of spilled oil is more than triple that amount. Millions of gallons of crude oil pour into the Gulf, coating the waters in a sleek that stretches for miles. The environmental fallout is immediate and devastating. Marine life is wiped out on a massive scale, with fish, dolphins, and sea turtles found dead along the shores in record numbers. Coral reefs and underwater ecosystems, which take centuries to develop, are severely damaged. The economic impact is equally catastrophic. Fishing, 
one of the Gulf's key industries, is essentially shut down for at least a decade, as marine populations struggle to recover from the toxic spill. But the consequences don't stop there. With 17% of the USS oil production coming from the Gulf, the country suddenly finds itself facing an energy crisis. Global oil prices skyrocket, sending shockwaves through the economy. To make matters worse, the U.S. is forced to lean more heavily on foreign oil imports, specifically from Saudi Arabia. A nation the U.S. has been trying to distance itself from over its human rights violations. This geopolitical shift only heightens tensions in the Middle East, particularly between the U.S. and Iran, as Saudi Arabia uses this opportunity to manipulate the U.S. into confronting its regional rival. The U.S., weakened by domestic crisis, finds itself teetering on the edge of a new conflict in the Middle East. Air travel disasters and chaos in the skies. Air travel heavily depends on precision systems like GPS and instrumental landing systems, or ILS. Especially in poor weather, these systems help pilots navigate safely through storms, fog, and low visibility. But with cyber attackers now targeting these systems, the skies become unsafe. In one tragic event, a passenger plane with 187 onboard descents through turbulent winter weather, relying on GPS. Suddenly, the signals are off by hundreds of feet, putting the plane on a collision course with the ground. Despite the pilot's desperate attempt to pull up, the plane crashes, killing everyone. This isn't an isolated case. Similar incidents unfold across the country. One plane narrowly avoids disaster after pilots manually override the system, while another drifts over the Atlantic due to faulty navigation, running out of fuel before it can return. Though clear weather allows most pilots to regain control, two more planes are lost with tragic fatalities. The aviation industry is in crisis, Hundreds of planes are grounded, technicians race to secure systems, and thousands of travelers are stranded. The FAA and Homeland Security issue emergency alerts, suspending flights nationwide. The collapse of the U.S. financial system. After crippling the nation's power grid, all production and air travel, the cyber attackers deliver their most devastating strike, the collapse of the U.S. financial system. Americans suddenly can't access their bank accounts, ATMs stop working, and online banking is down. Panic ensues as people rush to withdraw cash, but many banks run out of reserves and shut down. The chaos extends to Wall Street, where trading systems fail and stock prices plummet. Blue chip companies lose billions, and the New York Stock Exchange halts trading in a desperate attempt to contain the crash. Retirement savings, pensions, and investments are wiped out overnight, leaving many Americans financially ruined. As panic spreads, credit card networks fail, making basic purchases impossible. The U.S. government steps in, injecting emergency funds to stabilize the banking system, but confidence is shattered. Major corporations announce massive layoffs, and the economy teeters on the brink of another Great Depression. Globally, markets crash, and nations that relied on U.S. financial stability scramble to protect their own economies. The attack exposes America's vulnerabilities with outdated systems and a shortage of cybersecurity experts leaving the nation dangerously unprotected. This fictional scenario may seem far-fetched, but it's not entirely out of the realm of possibility. With the world's increasing dependence on digital infrastructure, cyber attacks are becoming one of the most dangerous threats to national security. The idea of a cyber Pearl Harbor may sound like a Hollywood thriller, but experts warn that it's something we need to prepare for. So how can the U.S. defend itself against such a threat? Should we be investing more in cybersecurity to prevent this nightmare from becoming a reality? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you think a cyber Pearl Harbor is inevitable? Or are we doing enough to protect ourselves? If you enjoy this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the next video shown on your screen 
so you don't miss any of our future content. Until next time!